Hello again, everyone. Regardless of the distribution or desktop environment you're using, you probably aren't getting all of the gesture support that you would expect from a touchpad, especially if you're coming from another operating system. Common gestures would be two fingers scrolling left, up, horizontal, and vertical. And most distributions and desktops are going to support that. The ones that were missing for me that I really wanted to add in were three finger swipes. So three finger gestures of swiping left, and write for forward and back in browsers and other applications like file managers and so on. And then three finger swipe up and down for like expose or overview, or maybe for switching desktops. If you look at the settings available in most desktop environments, actually I think all of them, basically what you're gonna get, tap to click, edge scrolling, so horizontal, uh, edge scrolling, two finger scrolling, uh, maybe the, the scrolling direction itself, but nothing around uh, three finger or configuring other actions besides those two finger options. So there is a project available out on GitHub that takes the live input gesture support that includes three finger swipes as well as pinch actions and makes those available on your distribution of choice. So I thought I'd run through installing this very quickly and show you how to set it up. It's not particularly difficult. Uh, it does take a couple steps that you have to follow carefully as you go down, but the developer's done a really good job of laying this out. And if, as long as you follow along in sequence, everything works. And then there's some advanced things like configuring the gestures themselves and mapping things. And uh, I'll show you a couple of those things as well. I will include the link to this in the description of the video so that you can follow along with it yourself as well as any of the advanced options that you'd like to tune or tweak for yourself, you can do that. I'll go ahead and cover these steps that I took to get three finger swipe gestures running for myself. So as you scroll down through the first step that it tells you, and this is an important step, is that you need to add your user to the input group. So let's go ahead and put this command in here. As Always my disclaimer is make sure you know what you're putting into your terminal. Don't just willy nilly run things. But in this case, this is saying to add a user, add your specific users, this variable user is mapped to your user account, add that user to the input group. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And in this case, it added my user to the group input. And as you see, you have to log out of your session completely and then come back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we're back in, let's go ahead and follow along. And they list some instructions based on which distribution you're using. So in my case, this is Kubuntu. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these packages listed for Debian-based systems. And then if you notice, there's also Debian and Ubuntu users may also need to install some other tools, live input tools. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and then installing the software is as simple as getting a copy of the Git repository, so essentially cloning it here. So we'll go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this in my downloads folder. And I don't have Git installed, which it isn't by default, so we very easily app install Git. Yes. And then we will rerun the clone and then change into that directory. And if you notice here, we'll just follow along and we can either do make install or I tend to use the second command, which is just run the setup. And so it essentially just copies some files into different locations. And again, make sure you understand what it's doing. All right, and they say here that many users will be happy with the default configuration, in which case you can just type the following and you're ready to go, which is true. In my case, I did change it because if you notice here, there's a note about if you don't use natural scrolling and natural scrolling, if you don't know, is if you prefer to, to use two finger scrolling up or down. So I like to scroll two fingers. If I'm pulling down, I like it to scroll down. But for some people, the way natural scrolling is, if you're pulling down, you're actually scrolling up, which to me and it just doesn't make sense in my mind. I, I, I guess natural, <laughs> I guess that makes me unnatural. I, I'm not sure 
y. So I need to remap that, but that's okay. I can go ahead and set this up to at least the first part, which is the auto start, meaning that it will automatically run when my system starts. And then it's telling you here that it created this desktop file, which is in your auto start folder. So it'll run when you log in. I'm gonna hold off on the start part so that I can grab a copy of the configuration file because I wanna actually make a change to those. So what I'll do is copy this file to uh, to my local folder. So if I say CP and then take this. And now if I go to my config folder and look for that live input gestures file. So we'll just nano this. Make this a little bigger. You can see how these gestures are mapped. So in this case, the swipe up, swipe down, left and right are mapped. And the, the uh, file itself is well commented. It explains exactly how all of this works. So the developer did a great job of, of making it very easy for, to come in here and figure out how to set this up. So for me, the part that isn't the natural scrolling part is swipe left, swipe right. So what I'll do here is just switch these. So for me, these are the only changes I make. I'll go ahead and save this. And then if we come back here, the command to start it is this. And remember, it's going to auto start. You get a little bit of feedback there if you notice. And then that's it. You should have those three finger gestures now available. Again, they mentioned swipe left is going forward and swipe right is going back. And for me, that's the opposite. I just changed that in the file so that now swiping left goes back and swiping right goes forward. But otherwise, I didn't change anything else, although I certainly can. There's lots of options for remapping things. And if you follow along through here, he does a great job of explaining how to do that. Starting, stopping. We set up the auto start, so it's going to do that automatically if you ever need to upgrade. So very well documented. I give the developer credit for taking the time to do that. So that's just a quick overview of what I've done on my own system. Obviously there's lots of other things you can do with live input gestures. If there's anything I can help you do, leave a comment. Hopefully I can uh, answer any questions for you or anything else that you'd like to share. And if not, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.